Well, hello, faith families, and welcome to this, our fourth Sunday in the Easter season. I want to begin um, this welcome uh, by just please, please asking you to uh, look at our prayer list, which is available online and as part of our paper and digital bulletin, because uh, we have some people going through some really rough stuff uh, right now, and we want to lift their names up, um, call them, reach out to them in any way possible. I want to think especially of... Uh, Indra, uh, who continues to mourn the loss of Mel. We think of our dear sister, Lynn Watson, as she continues to recover. We think of Larry and Janice Waterworth, Jim and Bev Bird. We just want healing and peace and strength. And last but absolutely not least, I want to lift up our dear sister, Peggy Eaton, who has um, and continues on in this tremendous season of loss. Uh, this past week, uh, her mother went on into glory. And so Peggy obviously needs a prayer and a support, especially as we um, we walk through this Easter season, a season that is celebrating life, life everlasting, life in harmony and peace and beauty. And that is really hard to, um, to really get our minds around uh, as we live in these times where there's still so much uh, suffering, uh, loss and grayness. And uh, and so we lean on our faith, but I don't want us to use our faith as an excuse not to give uh, our people permission to feel their feelings, to walk through the valley of the shadow of death, so that we can learn what it is to fear no evil, for our God is with us. And that is our theme for this fourth Sunday in Easter, as we uh, look at the fact that um, we are called very simply and very importantly to love one another. But there's always someone we tend to forget in that formula, and that is what we will be looking at on this, our fourth Sunday in Easter. So please read the passages, and, and if you can get a hold of me, or if you're coming in person, remember that in the, in the not-too-distant future, we're going to start be building our services around some of the questions, comments, things that have plagued you about the Christian faith, questions that you have. We want to open up Mountsburg, Westover, and our online communities to places where people can ask questions and get to know themselves and our Lord better. Okay, so welcome to this, our fourth Sunday in Easter. I pray that you are blessed by this worship time together. <laughs> 